so Saran Neal, Buffalo Bills cornerback, special teams ace. Uh, thank you for taking the time to do this, man. I appreciate it. Now, when you got to the Bills, you, they kind of tried to move you around. I know for corner and safety, and then initially you carved out that role on special teams. Um, was was there any like challenges going from playing defense and really having that that large role on defense to kind of just being a special teams guy while you learned your way through the through playing defense in the pros? Because there was a lot of guys already there on in the secondary when you arrived. No, I'm not real. Uh, it was kind of hard at first. We could definitely come from a small school to the NFL, and it was a lot of you know a lot of plays. And it was, it's, you know, the NFL is very, very you know competitive. Which that's one one thing that I do not lack. You know, what I'm saying I'm very competitive. Right. So, uh, knowing going to that, you know, it was pretty challenging. But I had some great leaders. You know, with Mike and um Jordan for you in the back. They were just saying like, man, you're very athletic. You know, you basically got some the abilities that we don't have and you know you're gonna play a long career if you just stick with it or whatever so you know I took the special team thing and just ran with it you know I seen something in myself that I knew that I could just take over on the special team side and you know make that my, my main thing until you know I got that shot on defense like I did you know before on defense um whenever they needed so that was the thing with me you know control what you can control at the time and then I control that other things will come Right. And you talk about the energy you play with. And I think that anybody who watches the game sees that in you, that fire um, that's really you don't see from every single player. And then you talk about the leaders that are around you. Um, I think Lorenzo Alexander was a guy when you got there that played special teams and man managed to stay in the league for, I think, like 14 years or something. Um, was he someone that you kind of talked to as well, learning that part of, of the game? Uh, most definitely. Uh, Lorenzo definitely kind of took me on his arm a little bit. It taught me the ins and outs of everything, you know. Lorenzo, he was there when, you know, some of the guys, you know, guys had their family and all that, but sometimes Lorenzo took his time out of the day to have dinner with me, to, you know, give me the game and understand the ins and outs. He know that where I came from, I ain't really know much or whatever. So him just teaching me that, those di those dinners and all that, from him taking the time out of his family was huge, you know. He just taught me everything because, you know, from him, he was a special team guy at first. You know, I look back mm -hmm. at his career. I see how he came in the NFL. Like, he has a huge transformation from what he used to do, and even including his body, the way he looked. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? Then how you think about the game. You know, that's that's a real deal business business guy. And if anybody, mm -hmm. you know, want to understand what's going on and need help in a certain area in that field or whatever field it is, he is the guy to talk to because he knows about it. Right, yeah, I think he started as a D tackle and then at like 300 pounds and then made a Pro Bowl at like 35 years old in the NFL. It's something you don't really yeah, see a lot. It's amazing, so. man, what he, what he has done in the NFL. And that's something that I endured. And once he telling me that, I was just looking back at myself and like, man, if he did it, I can do it, you know? Right. Um. So now going back to special teams, I mean, like that's a phase of the game that most like regular fans kind of overlook, but it's a really important important part of the game when you look at field position and then um, like the explosive kick returners and things like that that are in the league right now. And you're arguably one of the top guys in the league. I think you've got like 25 tackles in the last couple of years combined, which is right up there. Um, what's your favorite special teams unit and, and why? Oh, that's the area that most people won't understand, you know, about special teams. You know, they, mm -hmm. they like to the offer, they score, the defense, you know, they intercept the ball, take the ball away, whatever. But the thing is what people, you know, get misused at is special team play a big part in all of that. You know what I'm saying? Well, definitely the field position. The field position is big on percentile of, you know, a, guy, a, a team scoring and a team not scoring. Mm -hmm. Where the ball placement is on the field. So, you know – that ain't too much for me to explain if they don't understand, but it's okay. I just take my huge role and just do that part. But I can't say the best part of special team, uh, like a uh, position. I really take all of them very important. You, that they are very all important to me. But mm -hmm. if I had to choose, <laughs> uh, I'd probably say uh, kickoff or punt. You know, so I get to go down and hit somebody or force fumbles, you know, what I'm mm -hmm. saying? really 
take control of the game. We really take control of the game in all the in all of them, though. You know, all four phases. But I don't know. It's really hard to choose. In you know, out of the four, your coordinator Heath Farwell. He had a long career in the league with special teams as well. Um, I think he made a few Pro Bowls, and he was a captain on pretty much all the teams that he was with, whether it was the Vikings or the Seahawks. Um, since he got he got there your second year, right? I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he got there my second year. Yeah. Um. So, what are some things that he kind of brought to you to you in terms of like learning the the position and, and that phase of the game that you probably didn't have before? Uh, it wasn't more about teaching me. It was more of a trust thing. He mm. he trusted me. He he really gave me the keys and let me you know what I'm saying direct it. You know he just told me to do what you do and do what you do best. And once mm. you do that and not thinking, you're unstoppable. So yeah. once he told me that, I just took it and ran with it. And from there, it's been history. So yeah, it's a big thing that he came. You know, you know I like Heath a lot, and I love the thing that he told me. But um. He told me a lot of things about special teams and the things that he see, not only me, but my unit, our, our unit do, mm -hmm. you know, as a core on, at, for the Bills is just something really something special that, you know, he said he hasn't seen in a long time. And that's one thing he's seen in me. He said he see, really, he see a lot. So I just, you know, he prayed me for it and I gave him what he asked for. No question asked. Yeah, and it seems like you guys on special teams have been really competitive because you guys have one of the best rosters and the deepest rosters in the NFL and like guys that are making maybe the backups or, or third string on your teams probably are starting in other places and don't <laughs> get that opportunity to put to play teams. Um, so like you wanted to talk a little bit about the competition there and especially like the camaraderie with you guys, because it's, it's really unique. I mean, like Trey white and Poyer and Hyde were there the year before you, but then you came in, I think with, with Taron Johnson and Levi Wallace and all those guys in the secondary, you guys really are like the core of the team. And I mean, I know you probably get a little overlooked on defense, but your role on special teams is so important to what you guys have done in the last like two years, especially, but really kind of since you've been in Buffalo. Uh, that's one thing. That's one thing the unit really don't pay attention to, mm -hmm. you know, of who's starting on defense or who playing on defense, you know, right. every games where I come in and I play or I start, Oh, yeah. whatever. But we know as a unit, you know, that's our job. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Our right. job is to, you know, go down there and knock somebody's head off. That's what we're going to do. You know, no question asked. You know, everybody play a big part in a team. And we got mm -hmm. our part. The defense got their part. And when it's time for us to go on the defense, we do that part. But, you know, when it's all come down to it, everybody got a job to do. Right. Okay. Um, so now going into this this season, I know you played you saw a bigger role on on defense towards the end of the season and against the Chiefs, especially. Um, what do you see your role as going forward into 2021? Is that like strictly nickel or is Leslie Fraser have you still kind of taken both outside and inside corner serious? Oh, uh, that's something that I really don't get into. You know, mm -hmm. that's something that I really don't talk about. Uh, that's their job, you know. what I'm saying yeah. I don't get, I don't really get into the, you know, the ins and out of everything. I just know every position on the field. If I need to play corner, right. I play corner. If I need to play nickel, I play nickel. If I need to play dime, I play dime. If I need to go in and play linebacker, that's what I just do for that game. But mm -hmm. you know, that's one thing for me. I just learn the ins and outs of the defense whenever they need me. Whenever it's big, big for me to go in the game, I just go in. I do my job until the next opportunity to open. But until then. I'm that the core special team guy. You know, I don't really look at the aspects of when I'm gonna get on defense because when it comes, that's when I shine. Yeah, and you you've been ready when your number's been called, man. And kind of going into this season, um, what do you guys think has been like the biggest takeaway from this offseason after losing that game to the Chiefs? Um, what's the mentality like of you guys going into this year? And are you I know that um Brandon Bean and Sean McDermott were kind of talking in the media about like you have to beat the Chiefs. Is that like you what you guys are nah, focused on or no, nah, we ain't really focused on nobody but ourselves, man. Mm -hmm. That's you know, you know, you get other people out here talking about other guys and you get other teams. That's something that we don't focus on. We don't worry we, we focus on what we gotta do and we worry about it one one day at a time. We take one day at a time and for right now it's definitely about team bonding and trusting our teammates. So when we go into war, 
we know what to do. We come out as warriors. So that's one thing we don't get into, worry about what other people do. Once we focus on ourselves, I feel like we're unstoppable. Okay, awesome, man. Well, look, I appreciate you taking the time to do this, man. Really appreciate you. Best of luck this year. Yes, sir. Thank you.